Well, I'm 42 years old, act like I'm 16 most of the time, and after two days of musky fishing, my shoulders are 55 and my back is just turning 62. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm with my good friend, Mr. Ben Stone, in the back here. He has a wonderful YouTube channel. I'm gonna try really hard not to screw it up. Canalgratis.com. And that .com is D-O-T-C-O-M. I will have it linked in the description below so you can just click on it and not have to type that in. Um, yeah, we are out on a musky hunt in Iowa. This is the third day of it. We lost a day due to weather. It was ridiculously rainy and windy yesterday, so we just spent a nice day back at uh, Mr. Matt Vavrock's house, who was fishing with us previously, and uh, you know, drank some cocktails and ate some food and uh, watched some football. So uh, a beautiful day today, though, and the sun is in the way. There we go. Uh, so I'm gonna run into a jetty. I should be fishing. We have 55 degree water. It is just before turnover, I think. The water still looks good. Uh, and we know where some fish are living, so we are going to see if we can catch them. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna start off by throwing this mid Medusa. And I want to get it down a little bit. So I'm going to add a deep threat weight which is super easy to do. You just take off the hook from the hook hanger, pop it on there like so. We'll get this guy back on here. These weights are really nice because it's relatively easy to add them. And it comes in three sizes, half ounce, one ounce, and one and a half ounce. This is a one ounce version of it so i'm just going to put it up under this front hook hanger and that will give us a nice nose dive to the bait keeps it down a little bit better the other thing you can do if you don't want to take the hook off is just take your uh, swivel off and you can punch it over top of the nose there too i've done that as well but it just gives a little bit of weight up front there so yeah we're ready to rock we're going to start throwing this juicy little mid medusa all right so as i said before i'm throwing a mid medusa through that deep threat weight on there i've got it on a shackanaw 2029 foot with a tranks 500 with barbarian braid on it a cool new line i enjoy it so far i'll leave a link in the description below for that mr stone's throwing an esox assault 109 black and smoke we got a little inside intel that said that was the bait, or a bait similar to that. Black and smoke or black and nickel bucktails. So that's what we are chucking today. Yeah. It's a fish, yeah. I'm already recording on my big camera. Yeah, he's swimming right in front of us. Do you want me to be he's, on the net right away? Um, I'll be on the net, but let's have this. Well, that's quite funny. Uh, I just missed a fish. I was going to update on the, on the big camera. And I think the fish I just missed came up and grabbed a sucker. Um, 
want to get this on the other side. Yep. I think I should probably just take him. Think. I'm trying to see which way he's going. Looks like I should probably get up here. Yeah, we're almost right over top of him. What do you think I should just now? Yeah. There we go. Buddy, we did it. Sweet! That was uh, quite easy. Yeah. Spot lock us. Oh, did we lose him? Um, oh my god. We already ate him. Nope, oh. there he is, there he is. Oop, oop, oop. Nice. I'll try to kind of keep him from... Oh, shoot. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, that was cool, buddy. <laughs> it seemed a little too sporadic, and I was like, there's no way we would have just dragged your yeah. thing in there and not yeah. gotten one. All right, I think we are. I've got it on spot lock. Um, yeah, let's. Uh... Uh, I don't know if I got my text off to Matt or not. But... <laughs> well, <laughs> I went to go pick up that camera that Brian's filming on to update about the miss I just had on my reef hog. And as I was about to start talking, and words were about to start coming out of my mouth, the clicker started clicking, and the fish came out and grabbed the sucker. So. I'd say that worked out pretty good. Uh, this is a probably, a, I mean, a much longer fish than what we got yesterday. Don't know if it's as fat, but this is my second Iowa muskie. Oh, definitely a skinnier fish, but got some length to him. That is my second Iowa muskie. Beside, he's got he's a he's a blind one. Yeah. Kind of kind of get in on this. He is an old war horse, man. Yeah, but uh, that is a beautiful muskie, and we are going to put this fish back in the lake. You want me to go back there again? Yeah. That's actually not a bad fish. Like 38, maybe? Yep. Awesome! Rewarded for the efforts again. Thank you, Brian, <laughs> for the net job. And thank you, Matt, for the suckers. Just caught us. Caught my second fish, so thank you. Fish. Right here, right here, right here. There you go, there you go, there you go. Dude, that was such a cool eat. He, I mean, I, I gave was, it. I know I, what you mean about that now. I gave it that one last pop, and all I saw was mouth come up and eat it, dude. That was so freaking cool. Okay, all right. Things are happening, people. It's. It's a thing here. I'm gonna get this locked in here. I'm gonna get him out of. No, I'm just gonna get him out of here real quick, and then we'll have enough time to to do that. Um, he's hooked right on the snout. There you go. Get yourself. We're gonna get him unhooked and just laying in the water. 
skinny but long. It's kind of, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, dude, that is so oh. cool. Bring her in. Now it's real. The musky hug. <laughs> that was an absolutely spectacular boat side hit. Uh, we talked about ripping the Medusa the other day, so I was ripping it, ripping it. When it came to the boat side, I gave it one last pop where I could finally see the bait, and out of just the abyss, this white mouth comes up and absolutely snagged it. The only bad part is, is one of our cameras up here was misbehaving, but between some of the other ones we have, uh, we got it all on film. So I'm going to grab this thing. We've got her unhooked. We've got her just hanging out in the bag while we took care of our cameras, so she should be feisty here. Let's get a look at this beautiful Iowa muskie. All right. Behave yourself, girl. It is a skinny one, but a long fish. Look how long that thing is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Big old head, skinny body. This one needs to pack on a few pounds before fall hits. It is long enough. I'm going to throw it on the bump board really quick just to see how long it is. It, oh my gosh, it's a lot bigger than I thought, my man. It is 43 and a half. That's, <laughs> that's pretty amazing, actually. That's yeah, a... That's insane. I wonder how long that other one was now. Yeah, but, you know, a little bit of a skinny fish, but she was trying to eat that's for sure she came up and whacked that medusa pretty good so what i'm gonna do we'll get one last little look at her what a gorgeous fish though just beautiful all right i'm gonna take her back here Get her back in this. Oh, she wants to go. I'm just gonna. Jeez, what a long fish. Yeah. Nice job, man. Oh, such, such a cool eat. That is one of my favorite parts of muskie fishing is watching them swim away like that so they can be caught by us or another angler someday. Musky fishing is as popular as it's gotten. It's gotten really good because of catch and release. Uh, big shout out to Muskie's Inc. and all the uh, different chapters around the US that make this sport possible for us. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm out of breath half because I'm a fat kid and half because it's so exciting. So we're gonna get back to fishing. Uh, that's two fish in short order. So uh, we are coming up into a window. We've got sunset um, uh, probably about three hours away, two and a half hours away. So the rest of the evening could be really good. All right, everybody, that was a fantastic day of fishing. Uh, we would usually fish a little bit longer, but uh, we both have long drives home. Mm -hmm. uh, ben back to Minnesota, me back to Southern Wisconsin. Big thanks to Matt and Callie for letting us crash at their place here in Iowa. Matt's YouTube channel, of course, Matt Vavrock Fishing, check that out. Ben's is, I'm gonna get this right, Canal Gratis. Dot com D O T C O M. I'll leave it in the description below. And his Instagram is Canal Gratis USA. Yes. And I also have my own Instagram, which is Ben Stone Fishing. So. All right. So check it out, people. It's cool stuff. Ben is a fantastic young editor and has some really cool videos. I had a blast fishing with him. I just enjoy musky fishing, especially when they're not being jerks. And uh, they they were pretty nice to us today. So uh, two fish in the boat. That's it. We got drives home. We're gonna do that. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video.